Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here's another video by Ratchets and Wrenches. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to replace your transmission fluid filter on a 2000 Acura TL with the 3.0, 3.2 liter engine. Um, you know, reading online, I see that some cars uh, don't come with this uh, filter, the exterior filter, and uh, you know, it's supposed to be an upgrade. If I'm, uh, if I'm, uh, if I got my info correct. But uh, yeah, if you have this, it's going to be located right below your uh, your intake. Uh, tube right down here it's gonna be right there that's your transmission filter and uh, in order to get access to it and remove it we're gonna need to remove this engine cover and uh, this intake and uh, that's gonna be the first step and if you're wondering is uh, the part number the Honda part number is uh, this guy 25450-P7W-003 and I think this cost me about 65 bucks. Obviously, you can get this a lot cheaper if you, uh, you know, shop around online. You can uh, probably get it for half that price. Okay, so the first thing that needs to come off is the engine cover. There's just uh, a couple of fasteners that hold it in place. Just go ahead and uh, do that. Okay, so the next step is to come to the other side of the engine and uh, go ahead and start removing whatever is connected to this intake tube, and which is going to be this uh, this guy, this tube, this connector, and there's another there's another vacuum line I believe right down here. Just going to go ahead and remove these, and then uh, unscrew the air filter housing and remove this whole thing all, all together. Make sure you keep track of where everything goes. And be careful on these connectors, you know. This car is in pretty good shape, but if you got an older car, you know, that could be pretty brutal and break. Then you're, uh, then you gotta go find another connector or try to piece that back together somehow. This was the other tube I was talking about. Just loosen that. Now it's ready to be taken out. I'm just gonna take the screws out of the filter housing, air filter housing, and that's it. I'm just gonna pull that out. Okay, so after you remove this uh, this bolts around the the air filter housing, you just pull this up and twist this, and this comes out. Take that, put that out of the way. Okay, next step is going to be loosening these two bolts, and then pulling this out. Uh, I already went ahead and loosened these up a little bit because there wasn't enough uh, there wasn't enough room for both the camera and the wrench in there but uh yeah I'm just gonna finish pulling these out okay so now with those two bolts out of the way just need to uh, gently pry on this piece and it should pop out There we go, make sure your catch pan is underneath. By the way, sorry for moving you guys around so much. This is a pretty tight space. And we got no leaks. But be very careful not to, <laughs> when you do what I do, uh, not to scratch that uh, that o-ring there. Or that uh, that inlet into the, into the, the filter. So yeah, just pull this out of the way. And... Uh, there's actually going to be two more bolts. One up here. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, there's one bolt here and then one more bolt down there. And uh, then we get to take this uh, bracket out and then we'll twist off the, the filter. 
Okay, so the, the bolts I was talking about, they can get you a better angle from the, from here. Is this one, and there's another one right down there. That one right there. I think, we move, I think if you remove those, we can get that bracket out of the way. All right, the bracket is finally out. It was, uh, as we talked about, it was just uh, these two bolts. Just remember the one uh, towards the front of the car, the bolt that goes towards the front of the car is, is going to be longer. All right, yeah, now we just uh, get a wrench on the, at the end of this and just twist this off. It's going to take some, uh, some, uh, some finesse, I guess, clearing this, uh, this ground wire, I guess. And, uh, but yeah, it's doable. You know, you can break it loose with a longer, bigger wrench and then use a smaller wrench uh, just to twist it off. And after a certain point, you should be able to just use your hand like we're going to try to do now to take it out. And, yep, again, make sure your, uh, your catch pan is under there. And, uh, but, you know, I don't think it's going to leak. Uh, this is at the top of the transmission, so probably, I guess, most of the fluid runs back down. And should be coming out any minute now. Yeah, it leaked some, but uh, yeah, just like any other uh, filter, make sure the the rubber comes off with the filter and doesn't get stuck on the, the housing. And then go ahead and clean off the housing, put your new uh, filter on, put everything back together, same, uh, the reverse of uh, removal, and uh, you should be good to go. And uh, yeah, hope this video helps you guys out there. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Take care.